The Filipino's love for musical theater can be traced back to our colonial past, when composite musical forms were popularized in the Luzon Lowlands and the Visayas. In the 19th century, Manila was a hot spot for theater performances. Zarzuelas and operas graced our stages with world-renowned masterpieces. These then became very popular and some were later indigenized, thus the development of our own musical theater forms. Composite musical forms are large works made up of small musical forms such as arias and recitatives. One such form is the zarzuela, which is traditionally composed of more or less 20 songs divided into forms such as the preludio, concertante, solo, dueto, and coro. The zarzuela is a musical play which combines music, dance, drama, costumes, and stage design. It was derived from the Spanish zarzuela and contains elements from the local sainete, which is a one-skit theater form. The Spanish zarzuela was first brought to the country in 1879 by theater troops from Spain with the staging of Jugar con Fuego or Playing with Fire, which was a sensation in Madrid in 1851. Sarzuela stories depict the political and social conditions of the country at that time, with some humor and tragedies but with a positive end. It is usually written in prose and can have up to five acts in a performance. Its songs were written as part of the play and functioned as dialogues, asides, comments, or soliloquies, where singing styles are often similar to that in the operas. Instrumentation ranges from a single piano to a full orchestra depending on the organizer's spending capacity. The Sarsuela reached its peak in 1902 with the staging of Severino Reyes's Walang Sugat or No Wounds and gradually declined in popularity during the American occupation where they introduced their musical forms in an attempt to neutralize Spanish influences in the country. This example is a dueto from the Sarsuela Walang Sugat, Wag Mong Silaban performed by Tanghalang Ateneo. Comedia is a colorful theater tradition of the Christianized Philippines. It is written in verses, often in 8 to 10 syllable quatrains, with stories usually about lives of the saints and topics revolving around the social, political, and religious conflicts between the Christians and the Moors of the medieval kingdoms. It has its roots from the Spanish Comedia, which was introduced to the Philippines in the 16th century with its first staging in Cebu in 1598. The first Comedias in the Philippines were originally in Spanish and Latin languages but eventually, local dialects were used as actors who were selected from within the community. Dialects and narrations in a comedia are not written as songs unlike in a zarzuela. Instead, music is in instrumental form with the use of brass bands and percussions to add color to the entire performance by helping in scene transitions and emphasizing movements. Some acting styles where music is essential are marcha or long marches on entrances and exits, Batalia or choreographed fighting, and magia or magical effects. Usually, comedia actors in the community perform annually to fulfill their panata or personal vows to their town's patron saint in thanksgiving for favors that has been granted or as a prayer of supplication for favors being asked. The Bodabil is a stage show which features music, comedy, magical acts, skits, monologues, and even acrobatics collectively called as numbers as in a modern variety show. It has its roots from the French vaudeville, was adopted into the American theaters, and made its way to the Philippines during the American occupation. It used to serve as an intermission during sarzuela performances until it gained popularity and became a genre on its own. Vaudeville was an avenue to showcase American popular music genres and styles, such as jazz, blues, ragtime, and ballads. It reached its peak during World War II when the Japanese closed down cinemas in Manila 
as they thought the Filipinos were becoming too westernized. The vaudeville went on to fill in the absence of the movies, but focused more on stage plays until the end of the war when the cinemas reopened. At present, although not seen in popular media, the vaudeville continues to be performed in town fiestas, AM radio shows, and film musicals. Do you think history played a big role in the rise and decline of these theater forms? Share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you want to see more contents like this, subscribe to Vids Music.